Alrighty, hello guys, welcome your faces back to another Stormworks Build and Rescue video. Today we are continuing on with the Queen of Pooh. Yes, we are. We're probably going to change this at some point, I'm not going to lie. But anyway, today what I figured we'd do is we'd actually outline a, uh, I guess a carriage. We're going to go ahead and have some carriages for this thing. Uh, we're going to build an empty carriage at least, so that we can actually pull it along uh, using the steam locomotive. So, let's go ahead and start building a carriage, and hopefully it'll end up looking pretty good. Yeah. Okay, so just before the video begins, if you guys are enjoying the series as it is so far, please consider subscribing to the channel if you haven't already, and maybe leave a like on the videos that you do watch. Also, I will be making creations in the future that are different to this, uh, so if you guys want to see those, um, yeah, try and stick around. Anyway, hope you guys enjoy the video. Okie dokie then, so it's literally got nothing to do with this, so essentially we're just gonna go ahead and start a new one, and that is gonna be it. We're also gonna go ahead and get our train wheels, because uh, we obviously need those, uh, and we'll whack those in the proper way, like so. Bam! There we go. Uh, and then from there we'll actually grab this, because uh, that just makes sense. Let me, um, let me grab this wheel, there we go. Bring it all the way forwards, and uh, we'll pop it in right there, drop it down. Move it backwards, just a few touches, there we go, and that is awesome. We'll place that right there. We'll then go all the way to the back, because it is going to be this long, and uh, we'll also do a similar thing right here. Bam! Alright, there we go. Attach these together, because we should. Whee! There we go, and merge them. There we go. Okay, cool. So, everything that's white is actually going to be changed into a different color, which is going to be this color, and we're going to build it out from there, all the way to both sides, because we can. So, um, there you go. Grab it from there, bring it all the way to the side, and that is awesome. We'll actually take it all the way back to there as well. That's fantastic. Uh, I'm assuming it should actually go over the sides a little bit. However, I guess it shouldn't go over the sides all too much. But anyway, uh, we'll delete this on the sides, because I do think it should be about that much. There we go. Awesome. Right, that's actually pretty good. Okay, so with that being said, let's go ahead and do this down the sides also, because uh, I think it'll make it look a tiny bit better, which is awesome. There we go. Very, very cool. Uh, we'll then actually attach this to here like so. That's awesome. Uh, and that is literally just at the back of the wheel, so we'll do the same thing on this side. Uh, literally at the back of the wheel. There we go. One, two, three, four. Awesome. Yes. Uh, and then we're actually going to go with this piece, and we're going to drag it downwards. Uh, not like that, but like this instead. Here we go, sideways. That is pretty cool. Delete that, and we'll actually have it with pipes attached together. Yes! Alright, so grab this, do this, all the way together. Oh god. I didn't do this on both sides. Hang on. <laughs> Hang on a minute, we need to do this on this side too. Whoa. Turn it around. Okay, good. Attach it onto... Actually, not there. It attaches onto here, doesn't it? Yeah, it attaches onto the back of this, not the front. There we go, that makes sense. Do it all the way down to there. Attach these together. And that is awesome. Very good. Uh, but obviously that doesn't look too, too good, because um, we're missing pieces. Yeah, we are. Alright, so, when we get to this point, and when we get to this point, we're actually going to build in a full thing, like so. That is awesome. Uh, we'll fill it in all the way to the top, and we'll do this bit too. Yeah. I'm not entirely sure how I want this to look either. I really don't know. I just wanted some sort of piping underneath, and uh, this is what we've got. <laughs> okay, just to make it look a little bit better as well, we're actually going to attach these on like this. There we go. Awesome. Up towards the middle like so. Uh, we'll obviously attach these together also like so, and we'll attach these up to the roof like that. There we go. Uh, we'll do a similar thing on the other piece as well, and then in the middle, we'll figure something else out. Okie dokie, there we go, that is awesome. So essentially at the front as well, we need to drop it by, what, three? There we go, it needs to be three off the ground. So one, two, three, and then the uh, the pivot goes in here. I think this is the way it works, anyway. Pivot, yes. Okay, whack that in right there, like so. And then attach the thing to the top of that, which is the connector. Uh, and I think that's at the right height. There we go. All right, awesome. So that literally goes on there like that. Amaze balls. very good. Uh, we'll attach that together like so, uh, and then I guess we'll literally just do this. Although it looks weird, doesn't it? <laughs> that looks kind of strange, but we'll do that. There we go. Awesome. Right, delete these two, and that is fantastic at the front. That totally works. Uh, as well as this, though, we will add this, which is a nice addition. 
Uh, we'll make it go like this across the front. And we'll actually attach this to here. And then we'll do this. Whee! There we go. Fantastic. Now, we obviously want this on both sides. So let's go ahead and uh, grab this from, I guess, from here to begin with. We'll go up to there. We'll do the other side as well. Like this. There we go. Fendabby dozy. And we'll grab this piece as well. And that is it. All right. Copy it. Press U. Take it to the other side, which is all the way back here. I don't think you actually did anything. Hold on. Turn it around. Bring it backwards. Paste it right there. Merge it on. And voila! There we go. We got it on both sides. Awesome. So this is essentially the start of our rail carriage. It needs more things. Yes, indeed it does. We're going to get rid of this uh, because it might look better if we actually start putting these pieces in. So we'll do this. There we go like that. And we'll do this piece just like this. And then hopefully that looks okay. I don't know though. I think it looks all right. Cool. So we're going to go with that. That's all the underneath done. We're then going to grab the red, the frantic red, and we're going to start building the actual carriages. Uh, and essentially, they're going to be built a little bit differently to this. So we're not going to follow the contour because I don't want to. Uh, we're actually going to put this right here like that. There we go. Uh, we'll attach this piece onto here like this. There we go. Which means this bit looks weird, but actually... We could delete this and make it look better. That's fine. Uh, we'll attach this all the way down to the other side. And we'll do exactly the same thing on this end. Okie dokie, there we go. So essentially, these are actually going to go up to the roof, which I'm not sure how high the roof should be. Uh, four is about the right height for this to begin with. So we'll go with four. We'll go with four there. And then all the sides are going to be four anyway. So we'll do this all the way down the side. And we'll do these pieces also because we can. Wham and... Hold on. Whoa. Wham! There we go, very good. We'll probably have doors on these pieces, and that'll work out fine. Uh, we'll do this bit as well just for now, and that looks okay. That looks fine. Okay, so now I, I guess what we'll do is we'll actually put this piece in like this. We'll go up about three, four, and that'll be the top. All right, that makes sense. We'll put this on here like this, but it is going to be a different color, so we'll go with this. There we go, just for right now. Uh, we'll attach this across the top, although that doesn't work, does it? Because that doesn't line up with this. So how do we make that work? <laughs> I have no idea. All right, do that for now. Okay, attach this onto here, but it's going to be this color, obviously. And we're going to put that there, like so. And we'll attach these together, like so. All right, very good. Now that totally works. And then we'll do this. Woo! All the way down to the end of the train. Uh, and then essentially, we're going to have it go up again using this piece, like so. Okie dokie, fantastic. That's actually really good. Put this piece on here like so. Good. And then put this piece on like this. And voila, we have ourselves a, uh, like an angled roof, which is perfect because that's what we wanted. All right, cool. Fill in the roof on the inside like so. Okie dokie. And then we need to copy all this front piece to the back. Uh, and that'll be it. Very nice. Okay, yeah. Actually, fill in all this on the side too because we can. And then uh, we'll do the back side. And then... We'll put in the windows. And there we go. All right, that's awesome. Let's spawn it in and see what it actually looks like. Uh, if, if that's big enough. I don't even know if that's, like, tall enough. Uh, we need a door. So we actually need a door in here. We need a door on the opposite side as well. Let's have a little look. Door. Uh, do we have a single door? I guess a hinged door would work. And in theory, actually, that looks fine. So we'll actually put that in, just like so. This is the outside, of course. So it's okay to look like this. And then we'll do the same thing at the other end. Uh, but the other side. So essentially delete all of this. Put this on here like so. And do this. Okie dokie. Yeah. No, oh, fantastic. That totally works. Okie dokie then. How do we actually do uh, train windows? I don't really know. I feel like it should be relatively close to the end. Uh, they're going to be about... I want them to be actually that big. I want them to be quite wide. So we're going to go with four. There we go. Yeah, we'll leave about four in between. Actually about three in between. Two? Maybe even two. There we go, delete four, leave two, 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 delete four, two, delete four again. There we go, keep it going. Four, 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 yes. All right, we're going to do this all the way along. And then at some point, we actually need to put in a door on the side. There we go, all of that. And that's fine. All right, we'll leave it kind of like that, I suppose. I don't really know, though. <laughs> cool. All right. So if we then jug this on this piece, bam, it paints all of that. That's fantastic. 
Do this bit on the roof as well. Do this bit and this bit on all of them. There we go. This is going to take a little bit of time. But in the end, it should look pretty good. There we go. All the way along. That's fantastic. Do this bit as well. All the way back along the other side. Uh, not sure what the inside color is going to be. But I'm thinking, like, I guess the floor is going to be brown. Like this color brown. No, actually, it's going to be cream. We'll have a cream floor, but like... This, this color. There we go. That works. Uh, and then we'll have the walls be... Brown. I was thinking, yeah, brown for everything. It looks weird, but I think it should be brown. God, I don't know. <laughs> or it could be, like, white. I suppose the interior could be white. That looks weird as well. Uh, ooh, I don't know. I don't know what color the interior should be. I honestly don't know. Uh, peach? Peach looks weird for an interior. Um, hmm, green. All right, green interior actually works. With the decade, green totally works. Okay, there we go. Green and green. Okay, awesome. That actually is fine. Uh, we're going to paint these pieces so they don't look so weird out on the outside. And that is A-OK. -okay. All right, good. Yeah. Not going to lie. I kind of feel like we've got far too many windows. <laughs> um, yeah, I do. I feel like we've got way too many windows. So realistically, I'm going to fill all these in again. And we're going to space them out a little bit better. Okay, there we go. I've changed it so we actually have this big bit in the middle, which might in... I guess this might end up being the door. We'll only have one door in and one door out uh, on the sides. And then we'll also have the doors on this end and the door on the other end as well. So this probably end up going to be... Uh, going to end up being a door. Right, I'm going to paint all these pieces like they should be. And um, yeah, we'll go from there. Okay, so there we go. That actually doesn't look too bad uh, as a start, which is fantastic. Let's go ahead and grab it again. Uh, not sure how the doors are going to look on the sides. I really don't know how I want to do these. They should probably, like, I guess come out and go sideways. However, on old trains like this, they did just have normal doors. So we could just add a door. Like, an actual door. But, um, no, we'll leave it like that for now. Right, windows. Windows. These are going to be split into four pieces, uh, because I think that makes sense. We're going to do it like this and this, and then we're actually... I, I kind of want to do an angled piece on the top, which might look strange, but at the same time, it's kind of what I want to do. There, yeah, like that. Which looks weird, but they also shouldn't be this color. I think they're going to be... They might actually be gold. There we go. Gold windows? Is that weird? That might be weird. I don't know. Kind of like the idea, though. I mean, it's either gold or white, uh, and I think white looks okay, but I, I really don't know with this. I don't know. We could also make these flat as well, but I, I kind of like the idea of them going in. So I'm going to put these in all of these, and uh, we'll continue after that. And there we go. That looks really strange, uh, but I kind of like it, and we're going to probably keep it. But um, right, okay, let's see what that looks like in gold. Uh, and then we'll test between those which ones you guys want to actually keep. We'll, we'll go with gold for now. Uh, we'll spawn it in. And that actually looks... I think that might look a little bit better. We'll keep it like that. Uh, so for the bottom of these windows, I kind of want to put something in. Maybe a little ledge would actually work. Uh, and I think I've got an idea for that. Okay, there we go. What do you guys think of that? I think that actually makes the window look a lot nicer, so we'll probably end up going with that. However, uh, I do need to paint these. Also, if you're wondering what these are, these are actually uh, door pieces. Door panel edge. Uh, we could have used this edge, but we use this edge instead. I, I think they look similar, if not the same. But anyway, uh, I need to paint the insides and the uh, actual window sills themselves. And then we can go from there. So I'm going to do that real quick. And uh, I'll be back with you guys in a second. There we go. Fantastic. It's all painted on the inside. It's all painted on the outside. And it actually looks pretty good. So what I was thinking was, we're actually going to leave the doors for now. Uh, and I thought what we could do is just spawn it in. Um, get it pushed out of the way, and we'll try and pull this with our locomotive, and see what that looks like. Also, uh, just as a side note, it might be a good idea to make it a little bit smaller, um, because this is quite a long thing at the moment, and although it does look okay, it still looks very long, and our locomotive is not even this long, so, yeah. Okie dokie, Queen of Pooh, ready to pull! Let's, uh, let's spawn this in, get it going forwards, and then we'll reverse it onto a car, and we'll see what they look like mated together. Yeah. Okie dokie, we've got the uh, the locomotive outside. Let's go ahead and spawn in the uh, the train car. And we'll push it on. And we'll see what this is like. Uh, because honestly, I'm not sure. <laughs> Here we go. Attach it on. We'll see what kind of size it is compared to the tender. 
And we'll go from there. There we go. They look like they might be mated together. Uh, I don't think they are. Let's have a little push inside of here and see what's going on here. What is happening, guys? What is going on? Attach. There we go. All right. Awesome. We might need some buffers on these, but other than that, perfect. All right. Let's get going forwards. See what this looks like pulling this. And, um, yeah. All right. Awesome. Uh, firebox is on. Turn the brakes off. Clutch up. Okie dokie. Halfway. And off we go. That looks weird. <laughs> that looks weird. They look too long. It looks too long. I think I might have to make it a little bit shorter. But other than that, yeah, totally. I like it. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. I'm drifting my locomotive. I'm drifting my... Oh, that didn't work. Okay, well, I'm on two tracks. So that's the thing. But, um, yeah. You know what? Doesn't look too bad. That's awesome. Okie dokie. So what do you do in this situation? I think what I am going to do is I'm going to grab it from about here. We're going to take it to the other side. We're going to grab the roof. We're going to do all that stuff. There we go. What just happened? I don't know. I don't know what's going on here. I have no idea. Bring it back over there. There we go. Good. Grab all of this. Yes. Uh, go down. We're going to grab all of that as well. We're going to go forwards. Grab all of that. And we're going to go backwards. And we are going to grab all of this. All right. So from this point, we cut it. No, it's not even this point. It's the next bit. One second. We need to grab the next bit too. This bit. Here we go. So we cut it from here. Okay. We move it further this way until here. We then paste it. We merge it. And that's cool, but this bit looks a bit weird. What is going on down here? <laughs> what is going on down here? Uh, we'll actually attach this on the way it should be, like so, and attach that onto there. Doesn't look too bad. That is awesome. Very nice. They are merged together. That is very cool. Okay, good. I don't want a microcontroller, please. Thank you. Okay. Take this to the other end, and we want to do exactly the same thing. We're going to grab it in the exact same way. Okay, so clear this, move it this way one, cut it, okay, move it all the way this way, paste it right there, and sort this out, and then we'll be good to go once again. Alright, awesome, yes. Alright, put this on here like this, attach this on, merge these together, and we'll see what that looks like, because I think that's more a good size. Yeah, that's that's definitely more a good size, which is awesome. I might move the uh, the, the wheels back a little bit, the bogies, uh, back in this way and then forwards this way. Uh, and I think that will actually look pretty decent. Yeah, I like that. And there we go. So this one's been moved in and this one has also been moved in a little bit as well, as you guys can see. And that isn't too bad. I don't mind that at all. Uh, I do think we should have something stemming from the middle of this uh, to the back, but uh, we don't have that currently. But that's okay. We've built a carriage. Nice. Uh, so essentially, the way that I was building this is I was building it so that we could actually edit it uh, so that we could actually put anything inside of it. We can have uh, storage cars. We can actually have uh, ca like cars for dining and stuff like that. We also need to make a kitchen car as well um, and other stuff like that. So uh, this is going to turn into actually quite a long series, but we're going to start with this. Uh, we need to figure out what kind of doors we want. Because at the moment, that is just a hole. Uh, and we'll figure it out from there. But um, I like this so far. Pretty good. Oh, also, this isn't going to be this color. It's actually going to be uh, gray. We're actually going to make this whole side gray. Yeah, which uh, fits in with the door quite nicely, but nothing else. But there you go. That's going to be gray. We're going to go to this end. And all of this is going to be gray also. Yes, indeed it is. There we go. Fendabby dozy. Do this little bit across the top. Do those two. And yeah, we got gray ends. Cool. Why not? Blamo! I've actually added gold too. Why not? There we go. It sort of ends that divide, uh, and that's actually pretty awesome. As for the roof, I don't know whether to keep it white, uh, go grey with it, or, or what. I think white is actually going to work, and that's fine. But um, there we go. Nice! Okay, cool. So, what I'm actually going to do now then, is I'm going to leave this as it is. I'm going to see what you guys, what your guys' opinion is of this. Uh, and then in the future, we'll actually change this to be a little bit better, worse, etc. Uh, and I'll change it to be um, better or worse with what you guys actually say in the comments down below. Uh, but for now, I'm going to go ahead and say thank you guys very much for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. And I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye. Bonus! 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 Look at this! I've actually attached three of them to the locomotive and it looks fantastic! These actually look really, really good together, which is awesome! Um, but yeah, that was just bonus, just to show you guys. Um, yeah.
Thanks for watching. Goodbye.